Hello, Borja, good morning. Croeso Irventer, welcome to the venture. I'm afraid I've still got this stuttery um, camera glitch going on. Um, I've put a ticket in, so hopefully I will get some answers off Facebook very soon. But to start with, uh, happy International United Nations Day. Uh, this marks the anniversary in 1945 of the United Nations or the UN being founded. Uh, so that is, you know, an international organisation that promotes unity and cooperation between nations around the globe. So happy that day. Uh, it's also Jonathan Davis's birthday. Uh, that rug famous Welsh rugby player. Uh, happy birthday, Pembroke Happy City. Uh, but let's start and have a look at some play evidence. So if we start in the nature here, we're in our what has become our parkour free running area. Um, that little grid that was here the other day, that seems to have gone. Um, but it is still being used, things have moved around. If you can see here, we've got that plank leading up there. Which leads to this chair. There was a plank leading up to that chair yesterday, so that is still being used. Uh, you may remember that the seesaw over the other side of the nature there uh, was broken. If you can just see it through the bushes there. However, a new use has been found after it's been condemned for one half of it, and that is here. So we pointed out the other day that this had been reclaimed, this mound, as a new bike track. It's been used even more, I can see, over the weekend. And that's been made into a little ramp off the end there. So I don't know whether that's because they can now go both ways. But you can also see evidence there on the ramp that it is getting used an awful lot. So that's the state of play of the nature. We're just going to cut through the fence here and go and see what the state of play on the sand pit is. Whoop. So let's have a look. So let's see. Oh, can't turn around. So here's the sand pit. There's somebody's bike over there, so if that's yours, feel free to come on down. The tyres here on this side of the sand pit, they've moved. Uh, and they're all now on this walkway. There's a plank there. So again, oh, and there's a plank over there. There is some sort of obstacle course going on. Um, and you can see there you have to follow the rope, go on the slide. So it's good to see that, what, two weeks later? Two weeks this activity is still playing out on the sand pit. They're still experimenting with it and it's even spreading beyond the frame of the sand pit. So, which is great on there as well. You can see that. It was very interesting on the ITV uh, Wales report on Friday to see the sand pit from above and all, all of a sudden see a lot of the items. Somebody commented to me that uh, the venture looked a bit run down. I watched the footage quite a few times and tried to figure out what it was they meant. Uh, and I think what they actually mean is it looks messy. Because um, the wood ages and, you know, it's not meant to be cosmetically pretty necessarily. So the wood ages, so it could look run down that way. But I think what they probably mean is just sort of these bits and bobs that are hanging round. You can see over there. I suppose to somebody who's not a play worker, it looks like mess. However, this is what we would call... Uh, a junkyard playground and this is also what we call loose parts so these are the parts that children can find on their own and create their own directed play from it um, and we wouldn't want to tidy up and take that away because it would then not be an adventure playground but anyway that's besides the point if I turn this round if, as you can hear the winds picking up well, we've got a new den that's turned up so one of these blue barrels here has made its way over and we've got a board and some carpet that's been tacked up there to give a bit of shelter. So I'm just falling over the wood here. Uh, some soft play there to give you a nice seating area. And a plank of wood. It was actually here when this one went in. And that's coming out there. It's all to give it some support. Um, perhaps a few wayward nails that we can sort out later before the playground opens. Um, but yeah, a new den has sprung up just on the edge of the sand pit which is great. I think one of the first sessions I ever had on the venture, we built a new den and it went on for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, so when a new den springs up, it's one of my favorite things. Oh, there's some artwork on the wall of the fire pit. Let's go and have a look at that. This egg chair has made its way in here. Ah, I see we're getting ready for Halloween. Ah, boo. These are brilliant. So well done to whoever's made these. Happy Halloween. Fantastic. Some great work going on. So while we're on the Theot Leon Bronze, 
Haley Pullen. This is great, great stuff. Well, while we're on Halloween, that is coming first. That is on Tuesday the 31st of October, which is next week. Is that a week today? So a week today, we'll be open for our Halloween festivities. I'm sure there'll be something going out this week. We've got a planning meeting tomorrow uh, before our staff meeting that will put all the final arrangements into place. So keep your eye on social media to hear all about that. And then of course, we've got the community bonfire on the 6th of November. So while I'm talking about this, I'm just gonna walk this way, see what else has developed. Yeah, 6th of November is our community bonfire. All the action kicks off at 6 p.m. The fire will be lit about 6.30 and then the fireworks at some point within that next hour. We can't give an actual time on that because that is all dependent upon the weather. If it's windy like this or raining, uh, that will dictate when the fireworks are set off. But over on the other side of the car park here, they're putting in ramps ready to receive the lorry that will carry the pallets and the fairground rides and everything else. Um, whilst they're, oh, met up with Ali Roberts yesterday from Tesco Extra Wrexham. They're providing us very kindly with some food, uh, refreshments. Thank you, see you later. Um, You'll be on Facebook now! She has no idea. Um, yeah, so they'll be providing us with uh, some food, goodies for the food tent, and hopefully some volunteers as well. I know Ali will be there on the day, so I'm really looking forward to that. But if I turn this round, so this is the work that's going on here at the moment. This has all been dug out ready for some hardcore um, ground to go down so that access can be made to the field. And I think the other one, if I just keep going this way a little bit, is over on the other side because so, access will be needed on both sides. Yep, they're there, they're busy working with their diggers. I can't zoom in on here. But um, so there you have it Halloween next Tuesday. I can't give times because. Perhaps times will be a bit different than usual. Um, also, the community bonfire, Monday the 6th of November, from 6pm. Uh, it's free entry, there's no charge for entry. Um, if you see our poster on Facebook and Twitter, give it a like, give it a share, give it a retweet, um, just so that we can get the message out there to people who might not be aware of when that is. Um, and yeah, we'd love to see you on the day. It's going to be a really good one. I haven't been for a number of years and I'm really quite looking forward to it. If I just switch this round a little bit closer, so they're doing work there. That's an extra bit of access um, as well as over here. So that's it. That's the state of play on the venture today. Uh, thank you for watching. Um I haven't heard of anybody today, but by all means comment. Uh, if you've got anything to feedback for the staff meeting tomorrow, let us know. Like, share, if you're on YouTube, subscribe, uh, if you're on Twitter, retweet. Um, but yeah, Diolchem Gulio, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Tata Ruan.